Hey, before I go, let me speak upon this, the confessor. You know, that's a real thing right there. Let me break down what's the confessor because there's two sides to it. Right now, I'm the confessor to you. This Aquarian age and all secrets is going to be revealed on the esoteric and on the hidden and on the occult because it's the missing thing that a lot of us is not connected to. I feel honored to be able to bring this information to you because three years ago I don't know nothing about psychic abilities, know nothing about religion, know nothing about anything and three years later this is the results of it so it goes to show you there's a lot going on that we are not afforded to see and understand and you, prior to three years ago you couldn't tell me about any of this stuff and I'll take it serious and I only knew basketball, football, making beats and having sex with women and I realized shit that's what the whole world is programmed I was part of a program I was I was damn you could really say that. it's like you you under some type of hypnosis and until they take it off of you you're not going to be able to see the truth and understand what's going on it's kind of weird but you know that's the truth of reality so what is the confessor now on the other side but that's the story of why the confessions is going to be here to confess everything from the past of the whole Episcopalian age I'm going to reveal everything that I can that is actually got us in a state of confusion you know and this is the order of God it's the order of the universe for the confessors to come up but the confessors has to have truth it's not it can't be no egotistical confession and it's confessions up on the past and that's only one side the true confessor now I'm gonna tell you when after I got these abilities now you know it's weird you unite with two forces, the two forces that control this dome, this this dimension. It's, it's, you know, we could call it Kali. For me, it's, it's Lilith. Lilith and Samael. Samael and Lilith runs this. That's the twin flame. It's your right and left hemisphere of your brain, your right and left side of your body. Two antennas that both of them channel in everybody, especially that's unconscious. And you're all really here doing that yuga's bit until the golden age or the next age come and they switch off and a new set of beings is here. So in it now, when you learn that Lilith and Samuel is a guide and twin flame forces, because it's three, you need the three to make the circle, which is you in the center, the conscious being. We have the mother, the father, the trinity. So with it now, you, with Lilith and um, Samuel, you get to... Yes, yes, blessings. All right. You get to see that... <clears throat> A lot of people are born with disability, Kundalini activated, and 90% of the time, they know this as a child. And what they do is magic, witchcraft, as a child, five, six years old. I'm trying to tell you as people, at five, six years old, who have committed murder using witchcraft and magic, intentionally know that they did it well that's my job I'm the confessor when God the ancestors send these people into me and somehow they just come to me after we get past the layers of the onion that confession come out when you find out that they always had this ability the ability to use their intentions to get what they want I know people who at five, six years old, would put their mother's lottery numbers when they send them go play lottery numbers in the Bible with some numbers and take out another set of numbers and go play those, and their mother always win. It's five, six years old they knew this. At five, six years old, they know to write on a piece of paper, this person died, this person died, take it, then go burn it or put it in water. The person was dead. So you have a lot of people, when this happens, they get scared. They become so passive and so destroyed mentally, they go into a cocoon, into a shell, and feel fucked up and never use their abilities ever again. They allow people to abuse them because they're scared to even think bad after that. And they live in a very contained 
um, prison within their own self because of what happened to them as a child, as trauma. It wasn't their fault. They're just learning their abilities and they was a child. So my job is to listen to their confession and forgive them, ascend them, and tell them to keep going and to practice their abilities. But now that they're more aware of what they was, their white light is now and to use it for her good. I listen to a lot of confessions and a lot of people don't know why they got in touch with me. And it was really more for confession and redemption of their own soul than to actually me help them with activation of anything. Hmm. In it sometimes, I don't just get confessions, I get people that's possessed and I can sense the possession and actually take the spirits right off of them and help relieve some of their anxiety, chronic attacks, constantly being have sex entities that's always having sex with them. All of these it could be taken away. How is that? You know, on my journey through the chakras and meeting these gods, I refused nobody. There was nobody bad to me. So I made a home for everybody. Come home, I'm the place now, come rest. I don't deny no spirit, no nobody. In doing so, it's like everybody respect that. It's like you, you, you've been waiting 10,000 years for your redemption to be redeemed and somebody finally came and said, hey, come on, let's go. You're good. I don't have no insecurities. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing or the wrong thing. But I know God forgives everybody. And there's only one way to go up, man. As long as you go down, you know one day you're going to have to get up and go up. I'm here to get you and go up, man. Let's go up. I don't want to hear no excuses. I don't care what you did. I don't judge nobody. And I don't want you either, too. Take the wood out your own eye before you take it out of somebody else's. Remember that. Try to understand people. That was you once. Most of us, what we hate is what we was. Think about that. Say it again. What you hate is what you was. Now that you alleviate yourself from it, you disassociate from it. You don't want to be a part of that no more until you come in front and face it in the mirror. Facing yourself. Don't be so hard on yourself. That was once you. Vice versa. Well, you know, I just want you all to understand what the confessor is. A lot of people out there, you know, when you got that in you, find, find you a confessor. If not, you can email me your confessions. It's a lot of us that would do witchcraft, trust me. You might not understand it. Dig into your mind, dig into yourself and think about it. Coincidences, there's no such thing. Like I said, dig in your mind and think about it. Just want y'all to know what the confessor is, and it's a real experience for me, you know? University of Conscious Science, one love.